Hello and welcome back to Officina Virtuale. Let's continue our beginner series and today uh, let's click on mechanical design part design and part one. Okay, uh, we want to talk about user pattern. As you can see here, we need something, so let's sketch something on our YX plane. And for example, we can select uh, an elongated hole. We can select this our first point, and this could be our second point. And let's say 50, it's okay. And let's measure this, and we should say uh, 200. Okay. Exit workbench, and now we can create our pad. Let's say 20, and let's click on OK. We can open our specification tree, and as you can see, we've got our pen and we have our sketch here. Now, let's click on the surface, for example, and on the surface, we can sketch something different. For example, we can sketch our first point, and let's say, for example, we can select this point and this circle here, and we can see uh, concentricity, for example. Uh, we can uh, place another point, for example, here, and uh, we can say, for example, this distance should be 100, okay, and this distance should be 20. Uh, let's introduce another point, or we can use our option, we've got this mirror option, so we can select the point and we can click on this, so we've got these two different points, for example, and uh, what else? We can sketch point here and uh, we can measure this distance, 50, it's okay, and we can impose coincidence between these two different elements. It's a constraint coincidence, okay, and we can place another point in our region. Okay. And now exit workbench. As you can see here, we've got a plate and we've got our second sketch with this pattern. We've got different point on this sketch. Okay. Now, uh, we can use, for example, a hole. So let's click on hole. We want different hole on the surface, so let's select the surface, let's say S type to the next 10 millimeters diameter, okay, and uh, we can use our positioning sketch, now we can select our pattern, okay, so we can select this first point and uh, that means we need to specify coincidence between this and this, okay? Coincidence, and let's click on OK. Exit workbench, and let's click on OK. So now we've got our point, as you can see here. Now we can use our user pattern. Clicking on this pattern, we need to specify our object. As you can see here, we've got always our current solid, but we want our hole. And we need to specify our position. So we can select our sketch and preview. OK. So this is what we've got here. We've got something like our plate or a surface and so on, our first bit. Then we need a sketch. This is our second sketch. With the right click we can hide and show our sketch, our second sketch. And using this sketch we can place, for example, we've got this hole and we can use our first point as center of our hole. And when we've got our first hole we can use our pattern, our user pattern, to create the entire plate, as you can see here. This is very important because this is the best way to make hole in, our, in a surface when we've got a random position for our point, okay? As always, if you like this content, please consider to subscribe, share, like, and so on. See you soon.